Okay, uh, so we're now getting ready to fit the uh, inner primary chain case, which we've uh, we've had all that polished up. But I've only I've only had the uh, top edge polished up. Uh, didn't bother with the bottom because obviously you'll, you'll never see it. We've just got a nice polished uh, top edge, and we didn't have the uh, we didn't take the bearings out. There are two needle cage needle roller bearings, and we didn't take them out because we're just having it polished. And so I covered them in gaffer tape, if you remember, to stop any dust getting in on both sides. And that seems to have worked because you know, we decided that these bearings, they don't need replacing. So no need to replace them unnecessarily. Uh, right, so that's the limit and we'll, we'll be lubricating them. Then uh, we have three sort of oil seals in the in this casing so this goes onto the clutch we'll turn around and have a look at this in a minute so it makes more sense so the clutch sits where my hand is and obviously the clutch is dry but this is the primary chain case and this is full of oil so we want to stop the oil getting into the clutch so here we have uh, an oil seal on the back of this uh, new roller bearing and the open side faces this way because this is where the oil is and we want to stop it going through into the dry clutch behind okay so we'll be replacing that oil seal and similarly we've got a small oil seal this bearing here is for the bodge sorry the cross shaft <laughs> that goes across the engine to make uh, facilitate it being left hand gear change as i think was the requirement for the american market just coming out of the time so again, we don't want oil coming out of the chain case, uh, leaking out of the chain case in this case. So again, we've got a little oil seal on the back of that. And again, the open side is facing this way because that's where the oil is and we don't want it to go out. And thirdly, we have this small uh, sort of O-ring seal here, which is the second seal on the oil pump. And I don't know if you can see, but that goes in this little groove here. Actually inside the uh, casing, there's a groove there. And this will sit inside that groove and that will form the second uh, oil seal for the uh, oil pump. Okay, so I'm going to, in a minute, I'm going to prise these out and we're going to tap in those two new seals and just slip that seal in that groove there. Okay, I'll just try and turn the camera around uh, and let's have a quick look so that makes a bit of sense. Oh, damn, before I do that, yeah, I just want to, show you that there is actually a little hole in the casing here that's a breather hole right and it comes out uh here in this little uh triangular section here because that isn't actually venting to the open air that's going into the engine breather system okay so yeah another thing is just have a look i think someone's put two long screws in so you see these two bolts here. Someone's put two long bolts in, I think, and they've come out into the clutch housing area. So what we need to do is when we when we put those bolts in, we need to make sure they are properly sealed so that um, oil doesn't leak through past them into the clutch. They should actually be sealed, as you can probably see, they're sort of half seals where the bolt's been too long and it's like pushed its way through. So we need to seal, make sure nothing leaks through from there. Okay. Uh, so coming on to that small breather, that, that comes out, that little hole comes out in this triangular section here. And then there's another hole here which goes through. This is the breather housing. And that, that, that'll have a casing on later on. And so that's all part of the engine breather system. Uh, this is where that other, that second um, oil seal goes. That's where the cross shaft goes. And we just want to seal it so it doesn't actually leak out. Notice that all this section here where my finger is, that's dry. Okay, there's no oil there. And there's no oil in the clutch. At least hopefully there isn't. That's why we've got an oil seal. And there will be a shaft that goes on here that the oil seal will run on between the clutch and the shock absorber. Okay. Uh, then we've got the uh, main bearing. Now, there's no oil seal on that because on a Trident, 
the sump oil, the engine oil, is shared with the primary chain case. So the oil flows through that bearing. So unlike like the Norton, that'll have a seal on it uh, to stop the oil coming into the primary chain case. But uh, a Trident is the same oil. So it comes, it, it comes through. Then we've got the oil pump here. If you remember, we've already there's already one seal tucked away under that lip, one circular seal. You probably can't see it. I can't see it because it's tucked away under that lip. Then the second seal will go in that groove, and that will fit over the pump. So we have two seals on it. Yeah. Uh, note that there's a groove here, and that's that's because there is no oil in this bit. Okay. The oil is in front of that casing we're just about to put on. There's no oil behind it. There's oil here coming through, but there's no oil behind, so there's no oil in the clutch, and there's no oil here. This is a dry section, and water and stuff can get in here. Okay, it's just open. And that's why there's a groove there that lets any water and stuff come out. I always say, think of it a bit like a pre-unit engine, if you know what that is. So that the pre-unit engine is like, the engine on one side, then a gap, and then a separate gearbox. And there's like a gap between the engine and the gearbox with no oil behind it. It's similar to this. This is unit. So the gearbox is part of the engine, but there's still that gap. Even though it's like covered, it's still a gap. All right. So there's no oil. There's no oil behind this casing. Okay. So that's, that's the clutch. No oil there. That's that open bit. The, and, and the, the things can get in at the top. That's the engine breather where there will be uh, oil. That's where the uh, that main bearing goes. So oil will go through into the casing, and that's where the oil pump goes. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to change these bearings, uh, these oil seals, and then uh, we should be ready to roll. Obviously, we'll put we'll be putting um, assembly lube on these on these bearings.